I ask my viewers to send me their am I the stories and today we're gonna go through them live for the first time and decide whether or not my viewers are the I'm really nervous. I haven't seen any of these submissions yet. This is gonna be my first time seeing them. Here we go. Am I the asshole for bringing fart spray to a party and pouring it into the drinks? I said the drink had za in it and then when everyone drank it, I sat in the corner and watched without saying anything. Then everyone started throwing up and I still didn't say anything. What the fuck? <laughs> what? No way this happened. I feel like you're objectively the asshole for this. I'm so sorry to say this. I'm so sorry to say this uh, to my lovely viewer. I love you, but I feel like if this really did happen, like you are the asshole because I'm. that's just f foul. That's chemical warfare. <laughs> Literally, literally that is chemical warfare. Am I the asshole for spamming my teacher's phone? My math teacher slammed her book on a student's desk because nobody wanted to stay after on Friday. And she got mad after a student said that she had a doctor's appointment and my math teacher didn't believe her. So she told us all to have a crappy day. Another time I was out for two weeks because I had the flu, then appendicitis. And when I got back to class, she walked up to me and very rudely accused me of being on vacation before even asking why I was out. So I decided to find her phone number and then spam it with like hundreds of messages so that she would have to switch her phone number or block like hundreds of different phone numbers. Oh my God, I know what you're talking about because someone did this to me once. One time my phone number got leaked on the internet and I got hit with like, I don't know, there's this program where you can have literally hundreds of different numbers text you all at one time. It's actually insane. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you're a little bit of the asshole, but I feel like also the behavior of your teacher is just a little bit like out of control. You know what I mean? Like that's a little, why, why is your teacher acting like that? Can we say both are the asshole? I believe in karma and I think karma just happens naturally. Like I don't need to do anything. I don't need to get revenge. Karma will get you. Am I the asshole for laughing hard at my grandma's funeral because my aunt's saliva bubbles when she cried? Um, yeah, I do think you're the asshole here. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe if you're gonna laugh, like just do it in your head or leave the room. I mean, damn. Time and place. And you did it at your grandma's funeral. Time and place. Am I the asshole for farting in my girlfriend's face? I was a bit gassy, so I walked over to my girlfriend and farted in her face. She did not appreciate it. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Oh, what the? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine typing this out and being like, hmm, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for hiring a witch on Etsy to cast a love spell on him, even though I'm not that interested in him because I really wanted attention? <laughs> oh. Honestly, no. No. Hiring a witch is like actually so funny. That's camp. Hiring a witch to cast a love spell, that's like actually so, so camp. Even though I'm not that interested in him, makes it even better. Like, yeah, no, you're not the asshole. And you're supporting small businesses. I actually need to know a little bit more about this witch on Etsy and this love spell. Like how much did it cost? Did it work? I, I like, I need updates. I need part two and the link and updates. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend I love my cat more than her? My cat is my best friend and I love him more than most things. I love my girlfriend, but I told her I do still love my cat more than her. Not like a lot more, but I didn't want to lie because I do love my cat more. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't think you're the asshole for loving your cat more. Like I get that, like I get it, but maybe just don't share it. 
Maybe just keep it to yourself, you know? Am I the asshole for having 17 boyfriends? I admit it to all their faces, but I think they might think I'm joking. <laughs> oh my God. This is actually, wow, wait. Everyone's really quick in the chat to say, you're the asshole, but I'm like, they're being honest. What if they're a person that enjoys having an open relationship? You know what I mean? And they're telling all their boyfriends that they have 17 boyfriends. Like there's no secrecy, there's no lies. I don't know 17 people, literally. Yeah, that's the one thing that's crazy about this is I don't, yeah, I do not like actively even talk to 17 people in my life. Am I the asshole for breaking up two of my best friends because they talking shit about each other? Two of my close friends, whom I introduced to one another, got really close and would hang out without me and it annoyed me. But they would both talk shit about each other to me and I was over it. So I told both of them what the other would always say about them. It resulted in a huge fight between them and they weren't friends anymore afterwards. I was just telling them their truths, IDK. Hmm. This is tough because on one hand you're being like, like some may say you're being a good friend because you're telling your friend like the negative stuff your other friend is saying about them. So some may say you're being a good friend, but some may say you're doing it for all the wrong reasons because it's you're annoyed. You're annoyed by something and you were over the situation. So I don't know. You're a little meddler. Like this is giving like meddler vibes. Like you're like meddling with a situation. You know, if me personally, I don't, I'm not a big meddler. I just like to mind my own business. I really can't choose here. Like half a hole. Yeah, like maybe half a hole. Like everyone's kind of like has half a hole in this situation. Am I the asshole for going through my ex's phone without him knowing, caught him cheating, and left that night while he was asleep with no explanation? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I like am not a fan of going through other people's phones. Like, eh. But there is something to be said about like when someone does go through someone's phone and they do find something. It's like, well, what? how can we be mad? Like, what are we mad about? Because they had this intuition or this like gut feeling or maybe some type of like external evidence and then they found like the proof. They found the proof. So it's like, I'm, I'm leaning towards not the asshole because at the end of the day, you caught him cheating. And I think you have the right to just leave and you don't need to give an explanation either because he knows what he was doing. Probably saved yourself from a worse situation and like being in it for longer by just like getting out when you did. Am I the asshole for lying to my ex that I do not like the girl she's jealous of, but after a month of breakup, the girl and I become official. Yeah. Bro, wait, this is the person, <laughs> this is the other person. This is like the other person submitting their side of the story. This, <laughs> why is this the same? This is the same situation from both sides. They're both watching. I mean, you lied. Someone in the chat said, stabbed her in the back so hard that her back got blown out. Am I the asshole for stealing my sister's wigs? So my sister doesn't have a lot of hair and she keeps a collection of wigs. I like to steal them and store them in my closet. So she's always confused. They're under my mattress, by the way. They do smell good too, not gonna lie. What? <laughs> what? What? Why are you putting them in your closet and under your mattress though? Like, okay, it's one thing if you're stealing your sister's wigs because you want to wear them yourself and then maybe you put them back when you're done. But it seems like you're just doing this for fun. Like, I don't know you guys, I am an only child though. So is this normal? People with siblings, is this normal? Do you guys take your sibling stuff just to take it and put in your closet and under your mattress? Let me know right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this, yeah. You, I think you should put the wigs back. Am I the asshole for saying a gnat infestation was my coworker's fault? I work in a hangar bay and my coworker has a really smelly roommate. So I told him that our area is very badly infested because his roomie's stench transfers onto him. I call him stinky baby boy. He doesn't actually stink, but I want him to fix the infestation.
<laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> what? Am I the asshole for blocking my best friend after f***ing her boyfriend at my job? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, let's read this. Oh my God, let's read this. So me and my friend were going to the lake where I worked and she invited her boyfriend to come along. And as we were at the lake hanging out, she decided to go into the bathroom with him and fuck. It also started to rain. So I was ready to go home before it got bad since I was driving. So after that, we had a huge argument and she said I was the asshole for getting mad over it. So am I the asshole? Oh my God, wait, you guys, I read it wrong at the beginning. I read this wrong at the beginning, that's why. <laughs> I, thought, I thought she was saying that she f***ed her best friend's boyfriend, but she didn't. Her best friend just f***ed her own boyfriend. Um, okay. Oh, so you're mad because why? Wait, what happened? They did it at her job. Okay, so you're mad because they did it at your job. I mean, time and place. I don't know, I feel like you're not the asshole, but I don't really understand the situation at the same time. Why am I confused by this? Is anybody else confused or is it just me? Oh, you blocked your best friend too. Wait, you blocked her for f***ing her boyfriend. Okay, okay, all right, I understand. I feel like you're not the asshole, but also, no, you kind of are and you kind of aren't. I don't know, why'd you have to block over it? But then also, it is kind of annoying, but it's also not that big of a deal. Right? Or am I wrong? Like, why do I just not give a f about anything? Like, if my friends did this, like, I just wouldn't care, I don't think. Maybe this was the last straw. True. You know, it's hard, you guys, because we only get so much context. Don't lose your friendship over this, okay? That's all I have to say. I don't think you're the asshole, but also, don't lose your friendship over it. And that's what I have to say. Am I the asshole for being one someone's ass on the highway? for being on someone's ass on the highway. I, male 18, am driving home from college. I'm in the left lane going 20 over, oopsie. And this girl is going the speed limit, which is 20 miles per hour less than me. I end up like almost on her bumper because she's like stagnant with the car in the right lane. Maybe five minutes later, she gets over and flips me off. Like babe, don't go slow in the left lane, Buki. So I legit laughed at her, but I have anxiety and I overthink. So am I the asshole here? P.S. I was so ready to get home and see my doggies. You know what? I don't really think you're the asshole here because when there's two lanes on the freeway, the right lane is the slow lane and the left lane, like you're past. So you're not supposed to be going slow in the left lane, especially if there's someone else in the right lane. Like you have, you're supposed to be able to in the left lane, get around that shit and the left lane is the fast lane. 20 miles per hour over is a little fast. Like as an influencer, I've got to say, please don't speed you guys. Go the speed limit and be safe on the road. Just drive safe though. Drive safe, okay? Am I the asshole for throwing a paper bag of shit on my best friend's ex-boyfriend's front porch after he cheated on her? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, listen, I know earlier I said that I'm not petty, but when you're doing it for a friend, I feel like it's justified. So I don't think you're the asshole here. Like if you did this to your own ex-boyfriend, it's like, I don't know, that's a little like, but if you're doing it to your friend's ex-boyfriend, that's being a good friend. I don't know, you're being a good friend. Wait, what kind of shit though? Am I the asshole for telling my friend how he was acting? Me and my friend went to the Apple store and you know how you have to wait in line and talk to somebody? He didn't. He waltzed in there like he owned the place, interrupted a worker that was with a customer to talk to them. When we left, I told him that you can't just do that and that it was really rude. He didn't talk to me for two weeks? Then said I was being a toxic friend and never talked to me again. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think you're the asshole. Um, and I don't think that that like warranted this type of response. That's actually so dramatic. Like as a friend, like when you're being a good friend to someone, like you always want to be supportive of them, but you want to also like keep them in line, you know? Am I the asshole for telling my neighbor off? Am I the asshole for telling my neighbor off when she lets her dog poop on my lawn? She has a bad leg and the dog has diarrhea. That is just 
fucked up. Like, why is a dog taking a diarrhea in your yard? No, not the asshole. I mean, telling your neighbor off, like, I don't know if you have to like go off on her like that, but definitely be like, hey, I know you've got a bad knee or a bad leg and your dog has diarrhea. So maybe you could just keep your dog like in your own yard. So it doesn't diarrhea in mine. Am I the asshole for purposely forgetting my sister's passport? When my family went on vacation, my sister was being super ungrateful. She's like 25 years old and I'm 19. She stated that the trip wasn't good enough and she said she didn't wanna go, even though we were going to Hawaii. Like, are you okay? Anyway, when we left, I was in charge of passports because we each had a job for the trip. So I had the fabulous idea of leaving her passport at home and bringing everyone else's. I mean, she did say she didn't wanna go. Lo and behold, we arrive at the airport and my dad decides to just leave her. We had an awesome vacation. Bruh, that is, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, she did say she didn't wanna go. Was she happy about it or was she sad? I actually kind of want more details about this. This is a little petty, but maybe, maybe you did her a favor. Like she was saying she didn't want to go. So maybe she was happy about it. And you guys all, like everyone won in this situation. So not the asshole. Wait, are you not American? Cause you don't need a passport to go to Hawaii. Oh, maybe you're Canadian. I clocked your ass. You're not an American. I clocked you. Not non-American alert. Non-American alert. I am so close to finding your exact location right now. Am I the asshole for using my brother's electric toothbrush for personal use? When I was younger, I used to use my brother's toothbrush for you know what, because I wasn't allowed to buy toys and then put it back like nothing happened. <laughs> For some be like, bruh, not even Andy Fixler did this. At least she's her own toothbrush, okay? I think you're the asshole here. This is like a little, um, how do I say? It? It's a little, um, disgusting and a little disturbing. Am I the asshole for fighting a pick me girl? I, 17, female, have a boyfriend, male, 17, and we have been dating for two years. I had a friend named Michelle. <gasps> Michelle. This girl couldn't stay in a relationship for nothing. I brought my boyfriend to a party and Michelle was there. She wouldn't keep her grimy, hairy, gremlin hands off my boyfriend. So I did as anyone would do and yelled at her. She fake cried and tried to make everyone feel bad. It didn't work, embarrassing. Anyway, to make this short, she hit me first. So self-defense. Wow. Um, no, I don't think you're the asshole. I mean, I don't condone violence or fighting, but if she attacked you, like low key, it is kind of self-defense, right? Guys, one time in my middle school, these two girls got in a fight in the hallway and they like ripped each other's hair out. Did anybody else have something like that happen at your school? I was like walking to my next class and there's like a clump of hair on the ground. I was like literally like 13 years old, it was crazy. Am I the asshole for clogging the toilet because I had too big poop and the repair company couldn't fix it for two weeks? So every time my housemates and I wanted to shit, we would have to go to the public toilets at McDonald's. I never told them it was because of me. I mean, It's not like you like went to the toilet and you're like, time to time to clog this shit. It's time for me to clog this toilet and clog it for two weeks as well because I know that they're not gonna be able to fix it for two weeks. You know, you couldn't have planned that. It just happened. So I don't think you're the asshole. And I understand not telling them. I mean, as long as no one asked. No one asked, you're not lying. Am I the asshole for hitting my friend's car the first day I had my license and never telling them? <laughs> okay, I have questions. I feel like we need more information, but yeah, I think you're the asshole. I mean, it is day one of your license. Like you're learning, you're learning. And everybody makes mistakes. 
but I feel like you should have told them. First day is insane. It's actually kind of like a record. Like how quickly can I get my license and then get in a car accident challenge day one? Am I the asshole for making my boyfriend get rid of his puppy? Mm. Two weeks ago, my boyfriend's mom asked us if we wanted a puppy and I had told her no numerous times just because it was too much of a financial responsibility. A week later, my boyfriend wakes me up and tells me that the puppy is gonna be living with us and I got upset. Whenever I got home from work, I had a talk with him telling him how I felt disrespected that he went behind my back and got the puppy without consulting me first. I was afraid of being kicked out of my apartment and told him he had two weeks to get rid of the puppy or pay the pet deposit. So he chose to get rid of it. So am I the asshole? Damn, this is tough because I love animals so much and I hate to see animals like get involved in situations like this because I just feel like it's really stressful for them, especially a little puppy. But you did say no numerous times. You're saying you said no numerous times and it's too much of a financial responsibility for you guys. So I don't know. I don't think you are the asshole because you set your boundary and it got broken. But I feel really bad for the puppy in this situation. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me sad. Am I the asshole for making a Riverdale troll account on Instagram and getting blocked by Lily Reinhardt? <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. Okay, as someone who's on social media, like kind of you are the asshole a little bit. Cause why did why do y'all do this thing that and and harass uh public figures? But I don't know. I get like maybe you're just having fun with it, but you kind of are the asshole. Like leave leave her alone. Leave this girl leave this girl alone. I feel like she goes through enough just like being in Riverdale. I mean, I've never watched the show, but I just feel like I see everyone like shitting on this show, Riverdale. So just leave this girl alone. She's already going through it probably. People always like love to be like, oh, so-and-so like this celebrity blocked me. Like, haha, -ha, LOL, they blocked me for no reason. Stuff like that. No, they didn't. There's no way like any public figure is blocking you for no reason. Like, and it's also not really a flex. It's kind of like, oh, so you're just kind of like a mean person who has like too much time. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, did I go off too hard? I didn't mean to go off like that. Am I the asshole for using my housemate's shampoo and shower gel without them knowing? I'm broke and it smells nice. Yeah. Cause they paid for that. Yeah, you're the asshole. Yeah, you're the asshole here. All right, you guys, this is the last submission we're gonna be reading today. Am I the asshole for making my room smell? This is more of an embarrassing story, but it must be told. I, 15 female, have really bad tummy issues. I'm either not on the toilet for days or constantly on the toilet. One time I ran barefoot in the rain two blocks to my house because I was about to cause catastrophic damage to my boyfriend's toilet. Anyways, this story was at my own house and I needed to use the bathroom really badly, but someone was in the shower. So I went into panic mode. I tried to wait it out by pacing around, but I just couldn't anymore. So I did the most diabolical thing. I went back into the kitchen and found the biggest Tupperware container I could find. Went back into my room, plopped the Tupperware container down in the dead middle of my room and right in front of the door, and then plopped my sewage disposer right over it and unleashed the most dense E word I've ever had. I can't even believe I just read this. Since this was in my bedroom, I didn't have toilet paper, so I used a pink ankle sock to wipe it and mushed it in the bowl. Put the cover on the bowl, then double bagged it with Walmart plastic bags and double tied it. At the time we lived on the third floor of an apartment. So I took the oddly heavy bag and chucked it out the window towards the trash bins. Maybe 30 minutes later, my mom came in my room and asked me what the f that smell was. And I just told her it must be a skunk outside because my windows were open, so am I the asshole? <laughs> Listen, desperate times call for desperate measures, okay? So I don't think you're the asshole for doing what needs to be done, but I do think you are the asshole for chucking that out your window. Why'd you chuck it out your window? Like, and you say it's towards the trash bins, like, 
you could have just you could have just taken it out there to the trash bins and you're the asshole for blaming it on the skunks just shit out the window at that point that honestly is what it's like like this is like the equivalent of just shitting straight out the window i think this could have been handled differently but i understand like you're not thinking straight a lot was going on am i the asshole for reading that last story to you guys well, there are plenty of more submissions where that one came from. Well, not just that one. I shouldn't say that because the rest are so different. We got a ton more submissions than the ones we went through today, but that's all we're gonna be doing for today. But if you liked this, you guys, let me know and we will continue to go through the rest of them. I hope you enjoyed this. I thought this was fun. I hope you had a fun time as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, YouTube.